hello everybody and welcome back to my channel in this video i will be making some roasted lamb chops for andrew and i andrew bought a really nice size pack of lamb chops at costco for a really good price i must say they have the best quality lamb chops now let's get cooking so i have garlic salt oregano, lemon pepper, onion and garlic powder, some thyme, and some fresh rosemary. And I'm gonna marinate it in this, um, I think this is a mandarin orange. That's about one, one mandarin orange juiced. I'm going to add some garlic salt on both sides of the lamb chops. That's all the salt I'm gonna put. And then I'm going to sprinkle both sides with some lemon pepper. And now I'm going to add just a light sprinkle of some oregano leaves. I usually take my time doing this because I want to get it nice and coated with all the seasonings. Believe me, all these spices that I'm putting on it is going to give it a really good flavor. Just a light sprinkle. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put the cover it with onion powder on both sides. Next, I'm going to add some garlic powder. That's how I made it the last time and you loved it. Mm, best I've ever Basically, had. I'm using all the same seasonings from last time. Okay, it came out really tender. And very delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm going to add a little bit of thyme. It's powdered thyme, not too much. Just take your time. <laughs> How funny! Okay, just a light sprinkle on this side, and now I'm gonna, spoon. I'm gonna add this mandarin orange. I'm just gonna drizzle the juice right over the lamb chops. Turn it over. Now that I have all the juice on the lamb, let it sit for like about 20 minutes. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Be careful because I don't want it to wash all the seasonings off. Mm. Yeah. Last but not least, I'm going to sprinkle it with a little bit of fresh rosemary. Just a little bit. Well, I'll let these sit for a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I'll turn it off. Okay, now the chops have been marinating for about a good half hour. Now it's time to bake them. I'm going to stick on this foil lined pan. I, added, I coated the pan with just a little bit of oil. use all this good stuff here. Just drizzle it on top. Don't let none of it go to waste. Okay. 
next, I'm gonna just sprinkle some of the rosemary on top. And stick it in the oven. And let's use the Emerald Lagasse. Right there in the middle. I already have it set. I'm gonna bake it on 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. We're gonna watch it. And now while the lamb chops are cooking, I'm going to make some sauteed mushrooms. In a medium size saucepan, I heated up some olive oil and butter over medium heat. Then I added the onions and cooked them for about two minutes. After that, I added the garlic and cooked for an additional minute. And then I stirred in all the mushrooms and lightly sprinkled in the seasonings. I cooked them for about five minutes until they were lightly browned. And then I turned down the heat on low and simmered until the mushrooms were all tender. Looks like I finished the mushrooms just in time. The lamb chops are just about done. Now it's fully baked and ready to serve. Look at that plate. Doesn't it look so good? It just smells amazing. I went on ahead and made some rice pilaf and those mushrooms just make the perfect side dish. I even made some steamed spinach which Andrew absolutely loves. This is a repeat of our dinner theater in the middle of the movie, well beginning. Marriott gave me a container with some homemade rice pilaf. Spinach from Costco and lamb from Costco. Look at that. Mm. With one hand, it's hard to cut, so I am gonna take it and bite this sucker. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Oh, perfect medium. Thank you, beautiful. Once again, you're the best. You're welcome, honey. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. And by the way, you're the best. Thank you for taking the time out to watch my video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already.